They made up a contract, which I have in that book mm -hmm. that I gave you today. Yes. And inside that little book, the whole contract, it's not the main contract now. Right. It's the one that was signed by my father and Parker okay. in an agreement. Now, what happened was Parker used to manage Eddie Arnold. Mm -hmm. So they split up. Parker wanted to get a, a well-known act, and Dad was like the number one country singer at that time. Mm -hmm. So he approached my father and said, would you be willing to go into business with me, and I'll manage you, and we'll book our package shows. Right. And put other people on there, we'll split it yeah. together and all that. This is what was going on when I carried the letter of intent. Yeah. So we were doing package shows. So he thought if we can get Elvis signed as a young person mm -hmm. and, and put him into the package shows, then I got Jimmy and him and even approached Tommy Sands about it, mm -hmm. the, the, the guy that became the actor, okay, mm -hmm. uh, to book out in these shows. Mm -hmm. So this is what put us together. Okay. We were the same age about. Yeah. He was a year older than me. Okay. So we wound up traveling, and that, that's how we became friends and everything, was traveling these shows. Okay. They amalgamated their businesses. Parker had Jamboree Attractions. Dad had Hank Snow Enterprises, mm -hmm. and they went in 50-50. Okay. That's why Elvis should have been, because he was part of Jamboree Attractions. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Uh -huh. And then, of course, the manipulation and all that went on yeah. after that is what yeah cost dad his 50 percent a lot of people say he was a shrewd businessman he he was there's no doubt about yeah. that and he was sitting in that chair when he found out that parker had wow. been uh cheating him when they booked those package shows he was parker was supposed to put up 50 percent and dad was supposed to put up 50 percent plus being on the show uh -huh. and we always had people on the show elvis me uh carter family uh fair and young different ones like that right there were different tours would be a different set of people uh carter's worked a lot with us though and uh anyway when he found out that he wasn't putting up his part of it uh -huh. and the receipts didn't match up and that he was putting it in his pocket he called him and asked him to come over so parker came over to find out you know what he wanted and Dad said, uh, I, I want to go over this, these receipts with you on this tour. And, of course, Parker had a terrible temper. He just got mad and started cussing, carrying on everything, walking back and forth. And finally he looks at Dad and he says, uh, well, he says, uh, I think it's time we, we kind of go our separate ways. Dad said, well, that's okay with me if that's what you want to do. And... Uh, he said, uh, what about our contract with Elvis? And Parker looked, come over, and went like that. With Dad sitting right there and said, you don't have any contract with Elvis. Oh. Oh, really? And he said, yes. He said, he signed exclusively with me. Whoa. And that ended. All kinds of news people came to my father. Yeah. So whenever they do things now, like any kind of documentaries, they don't even mention that section. Yeah, yeah. See, they're making a movie in Australia now with Tom Hanks about Parker. Mm -hmm. I doubt that they even mention this part. Yeah. They, they might. Wow. But it's in his book. Wow. He gives you a detail of it. Wow.